The latest inflation data had the markets behaving a bit cautiously today. The Shanghai Composite was down more than half of 1% after the release of the consumer and producer inflation numbers for July. The PPI's implication of slowing demand from industry has got some analysts talking about more stimulus from the government. Real estate stocks were down today, reflecting the slowdown in construction that the PPI indicates. China Vanka was down a little under 1% and Season Holdings was off by 1.9%. Semiconductor stocks also slipped lower after U.S. President Joe Biden signed a bill which will subsidize American chip makers to the tune of $52.7 billion. It's an effort to try and avoid future chip shortages like the ones that have plagued many sectors since the pandemic began and make U.S. chip producers more competitive with China's development of the sector. Chinese chip giant SMIC slipped by 1.4 percent, while Will Semiconductor was down 2.6 percent. Hong Kong's markets were the scene of the heaviest selling around the region. The Hang Seng index ended down by 2%. Hong Kong was weighing not only the Chinese mainland inflation data, but also waiting for the US inflation data due later today. The US numbers are seen as critical to determining the Federal Reserve's next moves on interest rates. We've got used to these very risk-off days, particularly in Hong Kong and Tokyo, right before key data or announcements about the US economy as inflation and interest rates have raced higher. We did have some financial results reported in Hong Kong today, though. Among them, Cathay Pacific, which rose on news that it had narrowed its losses on increased bookings and there were some bets that the airline will return to profitability in the second half of the year. Its first half loss was still 5 billion Hong Kong dollars, around 636 million US. Cathay's first half revenue was up 17% year on year, but passenger numbers are still more than 95% below pre pandemic levels. The airline said one of the major barriers to growth has been Hong Kong's strict quarantine rules for travellers and Hong Kong based flight crews, although there has been news just this week that those will begin to be relaxed. Cathay Pacific shares were trading at their highest level since mid-2020 after the results were released, but slipped back somewhat this afternoon and ended almost 1% higher. Japanese markets were a bit hesitant ahead of the US inflation data as well. The Nikkei 225 was down by 7 tenths of 1%. Here too we saw chip stocks falling, although seemingly less in response to the new US subsidies than to a revenue warning from US chip maker Micron. Micron warned of slowing demand for chips used in personal computers and smartphones. Tokyo Electron, which produces chip-making equipment, fell 2.6% in Tokyo. Advantist, which makes test systems for semiconductors, was down by more than 3.5%.